Good morning. Rainy day here in Christchurch today, and I gotta crate the bike. How you doing, Elf? A bit wet today. Meanwhile here I'm communicating with Matt Ching through email about the bike transport which is put in motion now which is awesome and I've sent him the dimensions and he's going to send me an ECI number and that I can take to customs today and we can stamp out the carnet and have that document done and then I go by the office and I sign a purge document and then when we have all of that done get the bike in the crate so it's going to be uh, an evening job sorting that out. Barely fit, Elk. We're well, gonna take your front wheel off and lower it anyway. Racks will need to come off by the looks of it. 550. Yeah, 6, 10, 20 wide with the racks. How much with the fairing? Yeah, no, fairing is good. Let's see, how high? Yeah, well, the wheel's going to, front wheel's going to come off, and we're going to drop it forward. That's all good height-wise, barely. Handlebar will have to come off. It's too wide. Crash bars have to come off. Wheel have to come off. So now I will have an idea of the dimensions of the crate, so I can give it to the shipping company, and then later I'll sort the bike out. By the way, tomorrow I'm flying, and I have to be at midday at the airport. It's 2 o'clock now. Help, you're a bit bigger than before. She's going to barely fit. All right, things not going completely as planned. Tomorrow I go to customs to finish the paperwork, but it all has to happen in the morning before I head out to the airport at 11.30 midday. And now I'm going to send the, all, everything that I want to send back to the post and then come back to get on the bike, to clean it, and put it in a crate. It's going to be some work in itself. Get the post sorted. So here I got the old carnet and the application, and I'm going to send that back because I extended with a new one. Look, here are the entries for Australia and Brisbane. Entry in Brisbane, exit Sydney, entry NZ in Auckland. slippery as we know but isn't there alternatives to this must be better stuff to paint on the road so horrible look at that can ice skate on this not even exaggerated bundle of cheap ones if they have it there we go see Neko with a name like that you can absolutely be sure that they're the cheapest two of them at least and some ladder straps oh, pull tie down pull tie downs is that the English name three of those well I still have one more of these tie downs at home 
looks great. We got straps. Now let's go clean that bike while it's still light for the next hour. We had to go back to Bunnings to pick up some bubble wrap because we we're going to need to wrap the rally fairing because it's going to come off. Let's start the mission. I'll let you do that, mate. Right up. Oh, if you want. Uh -huh. Oh no, it's all coming off. It's the oven off. the most important part, it's under the fenders where all the dirt is. Getting out, squeaky clean! So check out fear speed and When I was putting on the crash bars and the lights, I was expecting not to have to touch this for a long, long time. But here we are already. So I'll undo the zip ties, gotta leave them hanging, the lights, and uh, gotta undo the crash bars, which is Always fun. Get to it. Oh, it doesn't fit. Yeah, here we go. Ratchet spanner doesn't fit. In between. Yep, everything has to come off. Who walketh there in the light? It is I. Hey, help. Let's get you in a suitcase. So you got one light over there, one light over there, and these ones here. See, I need to get those square ones too. Those square ones do the trick well. So trends helps popular over in fucking very. That is beautiful. It's great, eh? I only noticed the axle rod thing here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can hook it up to that. That's sweet. Yeah, I mean it's got a little top cover, oh, so it locks it in place and it's to shut, mate. That's amazing. Yeah, bro. Fucking, have you ever seen Damo steals your life, though? Oh, we oh, don't. Damo no, can I, give I, us the thingy. I don't. Oh, no, I do. You always pocketing the light, eh? No, oh, you, you can't. You're just a Siggy Bat Brain. Siggy what? Siggy Brain. <laughs> Why are you always doing this to me? What are we doing? Alright, so we'll lift it up and if you could uh, pull out that stand right behind, uh, right here, uh, on the side. You got it. Hey. You're gonna see now the bike cannot stay slotted in with the rear wheel because the tank is touching. There's a lot coming off compared to last time. It's a lot smaller this crate. And it, it would also, by the looks of it, save me on the transport costs. Jake's looking at me. Is he talking to me or is he talking to the camera? He's like half used to what's going on. Hey, there we go. Flick it off. It's like surgical extraction. Except the surgeons have Jack Daniels. I'm initiating Jake into the life of... Taking part out. Well, yeah. Which, who's way too nice. Just like Canadians. Yeah. Hey, 
Here goes all the outputs. See you, man. Yeah, see you, man. Thanks a lot, bro. <laughs> it's been a, been a pleasure having you, man. Next time we'll uh, rip it up uh, somewhere. Yeah. Have a day time, man. Yeah. What's going on? It's a baby. It's a baby I've fish. Caught, I've just caught it. Is it. Am I going to take it on my travels? Fresh babies. I've already put two in the um, baby tank as well. So this is the third one. Well, congratulations. Been emptying the fuel tank here on the gravel because it was just taking way too long. Should be good now. We've got to make absolutely sure the tank is empty because otherwise we get into trouble. That's it. It's going to be very little space for the wheel next to the exhaust. Very little. The slide panel had to come off. <laughs> this is the first of the support going in. <coughs> So the handlebar also has to come off, and hopefully I can twist it around without... That might be wishful thinking. Console has to come off too. managed to scrape the front fairing on here through the bubble wrap somehow, chipped the paint. Can't win. That's just how it is. Alright, everything is on here. Now it's time to lock it down. Burning the midnight oil hard here. happy with all the noise I'm making. Ladies and gentlemen, help is packed in a nice suitcase. This is much smaller than the last time when I flew out from Sydney to Auckland. It's always a mission, but this was really a mission. But we got it. It's there and hopefully not too much damage once on the other side it's like 2 30 now in the morning I'm gonna clean this up here pack it up tomorrow i gotta be at the airport 11 30 and before that in the morning i gotta sort out all the custom stuff with the car name so we're busy again in a few hours <laughs> anyway let me know what you think of uh helps uh packing situation uh, here and uh, like and subscribe if you're ready to move and fly and ride to a different continent help us ready i'm almost ready <laughs>